researcher from Botany and National Herbarium Division of the National Museum of the Philippines. He earned his Bachelor of Science in Forestry, magna cum laude, at College of Agriculture and Forestry, West Visaya State University. He has delivered various lectures and workshops about plant taxonomy, herbarium techniques, conservation, and botanical art. He has published various papers of new species plants from Philippines and a field guidebook about ferns of Chiang Mai, Thailand. His research interests are pteridophytes, various flowering plants, and gymnosperms. He's active in sports like badminton, dragon boat, and trail running, and in fact, he enjoys joining trail running in Cordillera to document Philippine flora while running. He enjoys drawing flora and fauna in his free time. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome our speaker, Mr. John Ray C. Caliado. Good morning to each and everyone. So I would like to share my uh, presentation for this morning. Sorry. So good morning. So mayong aga sa lahat sa tanan. So my name is John Ray. So I will present to you about more about the botanical and scientific illustration. So first, uh, we discuss the difference of some of the art that being done. So first, uh, let's define a flower painting or a plant portrait. So this emphasize is much emphasis is more about the pleasing painting, much less on the botanical accuracy or the natural colors or the various features of the flower. So uh, this kind of uh, painting will show a flower, but it doesn't show the real identity of a plant. So later, I can show you some of the samples. Next, uh, let's define a botanical art. So a botanical art is always scientifically and botanically correct, but not necessarily complete. So it could be a portion of the plant that shows uh, its flowers, the way it brands, and not showing more of the features that can define it as a species or the distinguishing feature that separates it from its family uh, to its genera to its uh, closely related species. So that's a botanical art. So mostly uh, these are the arts that are being done by artists that been shown some uh, uh, shows and other uh, events. Then finally, uh, what is botanical illustration or a plant illustration or more or less the bot botanical scientific illustration. So the emphasis is on the scientific record or botanical accuracy to enable identification of a plant. So most of the botanical illustration are used for publication. So mga ano to, uh, like if you have a new species, the artist and the botanist will work together to discuss what uh, part of the plant should be drawn, what are the emphasis na kailangan makita so that it could be distinguished as a new species. So basically, most of the botanical illustration are monochrome that it's either drawn digitally or using pen and ink. So mostly most, there were replanted nilad plants in Intramuros. So if you go to, uh, I forgot, uh, uh, may portion do na gardens uh, uh, Intramuros where they planted this plant and they survived there. So here, makikita natin yung natural habit ng Nilad itself. And here, this shows a plant portrait. But uh, without the label na Nilad plant siya, hindi natin siya ma-identify due to its natural features. So nakikita natin na medyo purplish ang flower, the, the, the leaves are not opposite, so and so on. So it is a, a pl flower painting or a, a plant portrait. And here, an old codex, so it is an illustrated codex, handwritten in an unknown language and a written system. So this is a very old manuscript dated 15th century. So this illustration of folios with 112 of herbal sec in the herbal section. So the plants here are ambiguously identifiable or hindi natin identify through the true species kung anong siya talaga, kung anong species siya. 
but we can know that these illustrations are plants because they have a flower, a leaves, and roots. But for identification, it is not useful to use this as for identifying plants. So now let's go to botanical arts. So ito yung wildlife. Okay. May harang. Okay. So here a Philippine wildlife painting na uh, gawa ni Paolo Castillo Fuentes. So this is a uh, landscape incorporating endemic plants and animals. So here we can readily identify mga on the left painting. So meron tayo yung flame-breasted fruit cup. So the plants associated around I readily I'm identifiable sa genus like there are rhododendron, medinilla, and some dendrobium orchids. While on the right uh, painting, we can see ma identify yung picture plant. Who knows? Sino makaka identify? Any in the comment section? So, this uh, particular Nepenthes is Nepenthes uh, Attenborgii, so named after David Attenborough. So, it can be readily identifiable. But this painting is a botanical art, it shows the accuracy of the plant but doesn't show all the necessary uh, identifiable characters to define it from other related species. So these are botanical arts. Next slide. Okay, hey, wait lang. Okay, next. So ito rin, it could be, this is a botanical art. Hindi siya uh, detailed in terms of showing the distinct characteristics of each species, but this is a botanical art that shows the different variety, size, and shape ng mga rafflesia natin. So this is considered as a botanical art, but not a botanical scientific illustration that are used for publication. So usually, it is used for publication in mga So this is also a botanical art. Uh, it shows the uh, habit of the plant and with the use of the text it describes the different species that are found in a particular uh, ecosystem. So this one is a field guide from Europe so makikita natin yung different floral structure nila and the color of the flower so it could be used for in field guide to identify the different species found on an area. Next. So, in the National Museum of Fine Arts, so meron tayo doon na uh, original sets of facsimile of the Decolier paintings. So, this shows an 18th century botanical expedition that shows the plants that were found during the time. So, on the left, we have the local mga Jiminilla Pilipinensis and the Bixa Aureliana that were introduced during the Galleon trade. So the plants were carried during a long voyage from Mexico and it brought back to it brought to the Philippines. So may mga interchange or exchange of plants din dun. So the plants from Mexico were established here sa Philippines and they were being used by the Filipino people. And so kaso nasa uh, MECQ pa tayo at the it will be lift, lifted and the reopening re of the National Museum. You can visit those uh, paintings uh, National Museum of Fine Arts. But here, we can see the portion of the plant, yung branch yeah, showing the fruits, the flowers, and then some of the cross-section of the fruit, the flower, but doesn't show the scale. Sorry, medyo delayed ang next. Okay. So also here, the Flora Malaysiana, ay, Flora de Filipinas, published by Father Manuel Blanco. So it also shows the uh, some of the botanical illustrations, like the Malungay, which is also introduced during the Galleon trade and are endemic uh, Delenia Filipinensis or the Catmon. So at the background, you can see a line drawing showing 
the features of the lame, uh, leaf venation, the cross section of the fruit, the floral arrangement of the sepals. And also here in Malunga, you can see the, the uh, inner portion of the seeds and the shape of the fruit. So this shows the characteristic of a particular species. So it can readily be identified already. And one of also illustrated sa uh, Flora de Filipinas by Padre Blanco, so the Nilad, so it's more accurately drawn uh, compared to the early photos that uh, yung uh, Nilad illustrate uh, painting na yon can be seen in the can be seen in the LRT one, so makikita natin along the road pag sa biyahe from Vito Cruz all the way to City Hall, so naka drawn yon. But here, this species is more accurately drawn with some line drawing showing the cross section of the flowers and the fruits and the actual shape of the leaves and the uh, ano to, it depicts the actual branching of the plant. So now today, so botanical scientific illustration are basically used for publishing new species. So currently, so here drawn by Yupin. So some of our new species that published last year, so mga Medinilia ultra maficola and Begonia cabanilla CI. So you can see first here in the Begonia, there are a scale, scale bar that will show you the actual size of the plant if you are going to see it in the field. And there are portions that shows the male and female flower. So here, makikita natin na yung uh, male flowers and the yung B and letter B, the male flowers, and the E, the female flowers. And also, there are magnification of certain pipes, like the C, the staminate, or the parts where the pollen is released, and the stigma, letter G, that will uh, get the pollen and be pollinated into form into fruits. And also this illustration shows the pattern of the leaf. Well, here in Medinilla Ultramaficola, Ultra it shows the branching of the flowers, the location where the flowers develop and the shape of the leaf. So basically it's used to define the structure of the plants that could be readily identifiable from other related species. So some of the new species also were based on herbarium specimens. So uh, artists and the botanists worked together to reconstruct yung plant that are being described. So here I have a photo of Nepenthes armin in the field, which is found only in the mountains of Mount Kitingiting in Sibuyan Island in Roblon. So here before it was published, they haven't seen any actual specimens, but instead they have dried specimens of this kind, uh, this Nepenthes, and they recre recreate or reconstruct the whole structure. As you can see, the shape of the Nepenthes feature is close to the shape of the actual plants itself from the wild. And here the flowers, the male flowers, you can see some of the glands. So it is based on the specimens that they found and they reconstruct it. So yan yung kailangan. No? And below, you can see the hairs. So also they take note that uh, some species of Nepenthes have uh, uh, thicker hairs or longer hair. So that are minute structures that are very important to identify the different species. And also for very small specimens like moss, so mostly photographs can take all the information. So we need to illustrate them to show all the structures. So here, H, I, and J it shows the cross section on every portion of the lamina or the leaf. Also here, every uh, cell can is drawn by the artist. So the botanist 
will instruct the artist to draw all the actual numbers that been shown in the cross section. So, so for most, it's very uh, uh, difficult to identify them by just seeing the actual plan. So, botanists need to put it in the last slide to show the minute characters like the shape of the cells the positioning of the cells so yan yung identification for for the most of the bryophytes and also botanical illustrations are used for taxonomic books so this one is uh, flora malisiana seed plant spot characters so the spot characters so one of the pages there it shows the venation of the leaf and the relative position of the glands. So yung mga dots na nakikita nyo, those are glands. And those glands are particularly observed on a particular family or a genus. So if you observe the this kind of position, this belongs to a particular plant group or a, or a species. So the artist will closely check the specimens that are being drawn to the exact uh, location for the glands. So, meron sa base, meron sa uh, near the margin or in the middle of the leaf. So, scientific illustrations are very help helpful for identifying plants with with the use of mga spot characters na book. Okay, so also here, uh, one of the book of late Leonard Elko, so it shows some of the med medicinal plants from the Caldeliera region. So here, the piper betel or itmo or buyo. So the plants are being uh, drawn by its habit and uh, close up with scales, scale of the size of the plant. So also you can learn to draw uh, your or improve your botanical scientific illustration and you can join the, Mar the Margaret Fulton Award for Excellence in Scientific Botanical Illustration. So this uh, illustration every year, they invite artists to submit their scientific illustrations. So here are some of the illustrations. So it shows the habit of the plant, the cross section, the close up of the flower, the shape of the seeds, and more, uh, more, uh, more on the details of a particular plant. So not necessarily, mga new species ang sinasabit dito. So you can create your own uh, scientific botanical illustration and submit to Market Fulton Award. So last year, 2020. There were several submissions, but um, uh, they haven't released yet the winners of this event last year, last 2020. But here are some of the win, uh, uh, the illustrations that won first prize and second prize. So here, yung common monstera deliciosa that are being uh, found by Plantito Plantita. So it is already described uh, earlier. But it was recreated through this uh, scientific illustration. So it shows the leaf, the structure of the inflorescence, the developing of fruit. So as you can see here, the detailed illustration shows the exact plant itself. And there are mga minute characters with the male and female flowers, the cross section of the fruits, the seeds, and the habit in the wild. And also here, the sepalotus. Felicolaris, it is an endemic uh, carnivorous plant found in the southwestern part of Australia. So it shows the habit, the inflorescence, the close of the flower, the shape of the pitcher. So it is also like pitcher plant here in the Philippines, but it is much more smaller and found on the ground, unlike ng mga nepentes nat tendon but they are much more larger compared to this. So if you are 
if you want to join this uh, uh, contest, you can start by making simple botanical illustrations with mga simple plants na hindi intricate yung kanilang structures like mga orchids or other plants that are more easily drawn. And so you can develop so on or improve your skills with the botanical illustration. And also, I would like you to follow the National Museum page in the Facebook so you can also have a botanical drawings and zoological drawings uh, that you can try to color or recreate your art. So we have a color by fauna by color pH fauna by number and color pH flora by number. So I hope I shared the differentiation of art from of botanical art from floral painting to botanical scientific illustration. And thank you and good morning to each and everyone.